Hey everybody, welcome in. Today we're going to be doing a Assetto Corsa server creation, as well as using the Comfy Admin tool. There are some prerequisites to this. Uh, I have some links down below for everything that we are going to be downloading here today to make your server, as well as the Comfy Admin tool and the standard Comfy Map uh, plugin. So, uh, first things first, you're going to want to make sure that your ISP allows you to port forward as well as you have port forwarding set up on your router. I have a great little article here from NordVPN. This shows you how to open up ports, uh, for some of the common routers, as well as, uh, some of the, uh, common service providers. You can see, uh, we got spectrum routers in here, TP link, uh, Netgear, and then even coming down here to how to set it up on Xfinity, AT&T, and et cetera. So uh, those ports we'll cover over uh, in just a moment. I will uh, show you guys those, but we're gonna open up the other links that I have down there as well to get some things ready for us to create. First place we're gonna go is assettoserver.org. They have an excellent tool in here as well as all their previous builds and a great FAQ section underneath this uh, docs. But uh, what we need right here is the download. So we're going to hit download. It's going to bring you over to GitHub. This is going to show all the changes to it and everything. What you need is right down here, the Assetto server dash win dash x64. We're going to hit download on that. And boom, there we go. Next, we're going to click on the next link over there, which is the comfy admin tool. This is over on overtake dot uh, GG, a.k.a. used to be race department. Um, this is the comfy admin tool. This is what you're going to be using to change your weather and your time of day. So we're going to hit download right over here and download that. We're going to come over to the next link, which is comfy map. If you guys want to use this for the map features, it's a really great tool. I definitely recommend it. Not needed uh, if you aren't interested in using a different map tool, but uh, we'll download this one as well. So we got the downloads out of the way. We're going to hop back over to Content Manager. In Content Manager, we're looking for this server tab up here. If the server tab is not showing up for you, you're going to want to go over to Settings, Appearance under Content Manager, Appearance. And right over here on the bottom here, you're going to see you have links and all of these in here. If this is unchecked, it's not going to be showing up here. So make sure that it is checked and we have our server tab. So let's click on the server tab. I'm going to make it nice and big for us here for the time being. I will uh, shrink it back down if there's anything that my camera is blocking. But well, we're going to start off by selecting a trek. I made all this uh, Kudos uh, base stuff so that uh, when I link the uh, final server build down below, you guys can run it as well if you need to. So right here we have a MOLA, and then I have just selected a BMW M3. Right below there, you're going to see capacity. We're going to want to set this little slider here all the way to the max. This is the max amount of pits for that track. Even if you're only running five cars, it's good to set it all the way. Um, basically, if you ever come across a server issue where it says track avatar update, uh, that is due to not enough pits for how many cars you have. Sometimes tracks will tell you that they have 24 pits and it will only have 12 or 18. Uh, so you sometimes can remedy that issue by decreasing that number. I'll show you where to find that in your server config if it happens after the fact, after you've built everything. Down here we have our password. That's if you want to block it to the public. Uh, you want to make it just your buddies or something like that. You can put it in there. Then we have our admin password. This is the important bit. It needs to be eight characters at minimum. We're going to just, for ease, make that password all caps. Right down here, we have our welcome message. We could say, hey, welcome in. I'm Cosmos. Boom. There you go. These are the ports you're going to be opening up. We're looking for 9680. 81 you need to be opening the udp and tcp port or both of these uh that's how i have it set up udp slash tcp open it up for them but uh 
yeah right here we have packets i always set this to 60 hertz this is the frequency in which your server updates positioning for cars good to do and then of course you have your little uh, approximate upload bandwidth right here uh, i don't know how entirely accurate that is i only get about 40 up and i've run about 15 of these servers side by side never had any issues so i think that's uh being overly generous so we're going to hop over to our next tab this is going to be your entry list this is going to be where your cars show up so as you can see we only have one car in this server but uh nice little trick down here uh make it a little bit smaller here for you guys right here we have a randomized skin button if you're looking to kind of get a nice variation of colors there you can do that um so in here you're going to see five entries of 24. so that 24 comes from that previous page where you saw that uh, we had selected a max of 24 cars. In here, you can add in such things as GUID. This is your Steam identification number if you want to lock the car to only one person. If you want a certain color or car, um, that's a great way to do that. So we head into our settings, content manager, and general. This is where you'll find your GUID number. I'm going to copy this. We'll uh, do a little example of that in the server. So how uh, cars work in the servers and load in is the number one car is the first person that selects that car. So if you're the first person in the server, you get in the white one. If you're the second person, you get in the midnight blue. If you're the third, you're getting the gray. So um, if you add in any GUID assignment, like so, you are going to get that car regardless if you are first or last in up next we got rules we're going to leave this uh as is that's just you know personal preference depends what you're doing and then we have our conditions this right here is going to show your default server time so when you first start up the server that's what time of day it's going to be we have it set to 1300 which would be one o'clock or 1 p.m and then we have our time multiplier leave that at 1x um, and then we have our dynamic track. I usually leave this off uh, just because we do drifting and that kind of thing. So consistent uh, temperatures across the track. So the main thing we're really looking at here, this is usually going to be set to basic. You're going to want to make sure that this does say weather effects and that you do select uh, a type of weather. I usually do scattered clouds because it's in between being clear and it's in between being fully overcast. You can select your temperature, road temperature, and any wind speed you'd like to add that then we have our sessions tab this is where everything is uh going to be for qualification races and uh practice we run in practice mainly because we do drifting um so you'll see that right here um you can set the time there and then obviously make sure loop mode is checked loop mode is going to say when this five hours and 30 minutes runs out it is going to reboot and start brand new from that one o'clock time position with the scattered clouds pop over to advanced this stuff's a little more intense uh definitely for some future server videos i've got some plan to show you guys how to make teleports on your tracks um for great for free roam maps larger maps uh that kind of thing um also how to do the install missing content button is under this details section and we'll do a video on that in the future you guys if you have any other things that you want to see um a great thing that uh assetoserver.org has is if we hop over to here um you will see that they also have a absolute ton of plugins moderation plugins discord plugins live weather plugins voting plugins you can geez put word filters on your chat in there so i can do some more of those videos if you guys would like to see that just let me know down below also don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you guys are here i helped you out at all today uh, it helps out the channel immensely so looks like everything's good to go on our server so we are going to hit save and then we are going to hit You'll see it pop up here. Uh, we do have one already in here. I was just doing a little tester before we started recording, but uh, delete that and we will hit save. You'll see it pop up here and then that window will pop up where you saved it. We saved it to the desktop for ease of use here, as well as our other files. So we are going to minimize 
all of this. And I recommend that you guys make yourself a folder. Um, in here, we'll just open this up. This folder will be where your server is going to live. So the first thing we're going to want is that uh, GitHub that we downloaded, the Assetto server win-x64. We're going to take the entire contents of this folder and drag and drop it into that new folder you just made on your desktop. Then we're going to take the folder that we just made. The I called it server tutorial. This will be whatever you named your server. We're going to take everything in here except for the AC server.exe. Drop that in there. We'll refresh there so it's nice and sorted for us and we can exit out of this. So in here, we're going to open up our CFG folder. This is where all the configs are going to live. One thing we're looking for in here is our extra CFG.yml file. It is currently not showing up. Oh no, what do we do? What do I do, Cosmos? No, I'm just kidding. Um, all we have to do is run the server. It's going to fail, and Windows is going to pop up. It's going to say, hey, you're opening up a command prompt right now. It's trying to save you from this. We know where this is coming from. We know we are intentionally trying to run this. So hit run anyways going to pop up and we're going to get an error right away. But what this actually did with that first run is it actually made a few files. So if we open up our CFG again, we have our extra CFG. And boom, look at that. This, we have a few things that we need to change in here. Now it looks very intimidating and daunting in your notepad, but, uh, First things first on here, use Steam off. This is going to be if you are setting any car reservations. So that GUID that I put in um, into our server. Right here. Or the, uh, the gray BMW M3, you're going to want to hit true. This, what this is doing right here is this is communicating with Steam and verifying those ID numbers. So we've added that in another few things that are in this, uh, that can really help you out is our AFK people are sitting in your lobby and filling up spots and you want people to get in there. Uh, it's default set to 10 minutes, uh, and it's also set to be on. If you need to decrease that. You could another great one in here is max ping. If you have people coming in with, you know, 600 ping, it's going to kick them because they're going to be, uh, bouncing around the map. But uh, the one we're here for is this one right here. Enable weather effects. So we're going to backspace on that and change that false to true. Um, so a big thing that takes up a lot of this is our AI traffic. That is all of the config for that. If you guys would like to see a video on that, how to set up a Shotoku server or anything like that, I always can do that in the future for you guys. Just let me know down below. But uh, we've made the changes that we need in here, so we're going to hit save. Uh, oh, actually, one other thing that I do like to do is get rid of these uh, wrong server details. I like to make this true. I'm just having one of those days. I can't type. Um, and then we're going to make missing track parameters true. This just ignores common configuration errors. Uh, a lot of times if you have some wrong server details, it's not going to make or break anything. And same thing with missing track parameters. If anything, that's going to just mess with like uh, time of day and stuff, which I have a little trick for at the end of this. But uh, I don't like to do the missing car checksums. Most of your cars should already have a checksum in them, as well as the unsafe admin whitelist. Definitely don't. What we're going to do, we also need to install Comfy Map Admin Tool and Comfy Map. So here is our, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's our Comfy Map. I already have it on here, but we'll just hit install anyways. And then of course we have our Comfy Admin. We're going to come in here and hit install on that. Boom. So we got those two installed. We also have our GUID. A nice thing to do so you don't have to authenticate yourself as an admin every time you come into the server, there is a way to have it automatically do that. 
So when I showed you before Content Manager General, your Steam profile and your GUID, I want you to take this and hit copy. We are going to minimize and then come into this right here. We are looking for a whitelist. There is no whitelist in here. Oh no, what do we do? Well, all you need to do is hit new text document and call this whitelist. Okay, so we made a whitelist. You also can make a, this will auto generate, but I do like to just build my servers on top of uh, each other. So it's good to have a nice solid base to begin with. So we have a whitelist, blacklist, and also, I was kidding. Um, we have a whitelist, blacklist, and we are going to add in a admins. So this can be updated on the fly too. If the server is running, this will continually update. What you're going to do to get yourself automatic admin privileges is just paste in your GUID number with no spaces or anything like that. If you're adding more than one person, you're going to hit enter and put the next one right below it. Uh, that's how it works. So we hit save and boom. We are going to have admin privileges from the moment we step in that server. Uh, it's really great. It's also going to allow you to select before you even get into the server. It's going to allow you to select cars that may be GUID locked if you're doing some troubleshooting or anything along those lines. But we are ready to go. We have ourselves set as an admin. We have changed the extra config file. If we hop into our server config, you can also see the ports listed right here that need to be opened, as well as our sun angle, which equates to time of day. And then of course our track that we're running. And of course our admin password, if you ever need to change it and you don't want to rebuild the entire server can be changed right in there. And then all that takes is just a quick save. Uh, we also have our cars located right here, um, as well as a lot of those settings that we were messing with. Uh, these are all like the ABS, traction control, fuel rate, and everything along those lines. Right down here, we also have name. This is good to change. We're going to call this Server Tutorial Cosmos and hit save. That's going to be what it shows up in your server browser in Content Manager. Always good to do. Make it unique, make it easy to find but there is a way to always find it and a link to share. So we're going to open this up and boom, there we go. Look, lobby registration successful. We have connected to Steam servers. Perfect. So we're going to leave this running for the entirety that, it's run, uh, that you need your server up. Right here, we have that link I was talking about. We are going to copy this, control C. We're just going to put this on the other monitor right now. We don't need anything else with it. I'm going to open up our web browser and hit paste. I'm going to pop up a content manager user has invited you to join their online race. So we're going to hit open content manager and boom, there it is. We have a MOLA and we have our BMW M3. If I was not an admin on the server, the only car you would select is the one that I have pre-designated for myself. In here, you also could put your admin password here. We don't need to do that. Um, as well as you could invite other people and get that link again. So we're all set. Let's hop on in. And there we go. Looks to be uh, about one o'clock. We got scattered skies right now. And just for sake here, I'm going to get rid of these tools here for you. Um, one thing you're going to do to get your admin privileges, if you did not make that admins text, you're going to do admin space and then your password. We're not going to hit enter, but uh, I'll show you guys after uh, we test it out for that admin.txt file. So uh, you're going to go over to your app bar here. And we are looking for comfy map admin as well as the comfy map. You can see right here, the Comfy Maps is a very nice program. Uh, you can zoom in with your scroll wheel. You can 
get it nicely positioned, or you can press in your middle mouse button and it will follow your car. I really like this one uh, because then you can kind of make it nice and small and uh, put it somewhere on screen if you need that map. But in here, we're going to hit check, check admin privileges. And you can see right now gave us those admin privileges without even typing anything in. It's great for VR. Um, so you don't have to have a keyboard in front of you and type in stuff. But uh, if you are doing it this way, this is what it's going to look like. You're going to hit enter and it will say you are now an admin for the server. So this is our comfy admin tool. I just made this uh, like transparent. Not really sure how I feel about that, but uh, here first option you have is your weather. So if you want clear, few clouds, overcast, fog, mist, etc., cetera, um, we can change it in here. So if we go over to fog, click it, and it will immediately start to transfer over to being a nice foggy track for us. Um, you can do a transition duration on here too. This is great if you're taking it from day to night uh, so you don't flashbang people, uh, especially those that are in like uh, VR or something like that. As you can see, we're sitting now at 101. We can change that time of day, maybe go early morning. And there you go. You can see our sun position has changed. Um, another thing is, is if we come in here and we want to get rid of that, we have changed our transition period to 11 seconds. We'll just hit uh, clear. And you'll see over about the next 10 seconds, the fog has faded away. And now those clouds start to disappear and it's uh, nice and clear for us. There's other stuff in here as well. Down below, you'll see AI commands. This is for that AI traffic if you're kind of going through and trying to fine tune some things. Another video, another day. Um, right here, we also have your server. This will be your ping, your ping seconds, time of day multipliers, rain track and grip. And then of course, uh, a lot of like the forcing lights on people and that kind of thing. Those will all be set to how you made it in Content Manager unless you make changes. If the server gets rebooted, it is not going to take a, those uh, settings that you put in there are not going to take effect. So you're going to want to go into those configs if you're looking to permanently change them. In here under players, you also have a spectate pit lights on lights off. You can find out who they are with their GUID and uh, basically click that if you're looking, uh, you know, somebody's causing troubles in your lobby uh, you also do have the kick and ban option which would put them on that blacklist kick will just kick them out temporarily so there we go there we have it a uh, nice simple easy way to manage your server all in one tool absolutely wonderful um, yeah like I said we can also change this to be nice and late at night too you can see boom just like that lights have come on and we are running on mobile at night. All right. So that pretty much concludes the basics of making a server using Comfy Admin. Uh, I do have a few other things that I would like to add to this uh, server build. And I will show you guys that right now. If I am already losing you guys, don't forget to hit like and subscribe before you head on out. Appreciate every single one of you guys. But uh, this is something that uh, makes a lot of sense if you have a lot of people from all different parts of the world joining you or you want to run specifically a nighttime server and you want everybody to be on the same time of day. I've had it in the past where people, you know, all the way over in Australia or in Europe, they're like, hey, it's supposed to be night and everybody's got their lights on, but it's daytime for me. Well, I got a fix for that. So we are going to minimize this here is our server we're going to open up our config and now i have this file that i've created here in the csp extra options we're just going to drag that in there like i said this is all downloadable as one whole package below you guys will find that in the cfg file so we're going to open this up what is in here is we have a loud wrong way we do a lot of drifting so if you're switching from clockwise to counterclockwise this is a great thing to add into your server so that you don't uh, have people getting sent to pits or getting penalties 
Another thing that's really cool is custom color. We can allow this everywhere. This is for non-liveried vehicles. Only cars with the base color work, but uh, you can change colors anywhere you'd like as long as the car is parked. And then we have pit speed limiter. This is if you want to limit the speed in the pits. Uh, obviously change that zero to a one if you want to enable that and then that speed. And then this is also where teleport locations uh, would live. That requires comfy map, that uh, specific map tool, but it will put little points on your map. If you have a larger map or a map with multiple tracks and you want easy use, they go to pits so then are able to pop over there really quickly. Another video, I'll be able to show you guys how to build that. It's very easy. Um, and then the important bit. This right here is our weather effects. So you can see we have a time zone, a latitude and longitude, and then we also have a time zone ID. All of this, what this does is when anybody joins your server, it syncs their time of day for their game with everybody else. Generally, a set of Corsa will set it based off of your system clock. So if you know somebody in Europe, it's in the morning for them, but it's nighttime for you and you set a server to nighttime, it's going to be a daytime server for them because it pushes the sun angle that much. So by putting this little line of code here, we'll stop any of that from happening and everybody will be nice and synced up on there. But those are some uh, some little extra things that I like to add to the servers. Very basic. No plugins running on here. Just a base server. So we rebooted it here. I'll show you guys real quick the uh, color change feature. It's kind of nice if you have uh, people with the same color car and you want to differentiate or anything like that. Uh, just kind of fun. But uh, other than that, all the links are down below. I'll show you guys this real quick and then we're, we're out of here. All right, guys, and you can see we're in the server now. Uh, we have the extra time zone plugin. Sometimes it will offset this general time. So you can see it says it's eight in the morning right now. It's about one o'clock. Um, it still is going to have the same slider, but the nice thing is, is it is completely paired up with everybody else on the server. So what I was talking about before was changing your car color. You can do that in here by going to extras in your chat into extras and you actually can change your car color so it gives you a full color wheel so if we want to be running a uh, lime green bmw m3 there we go just like that everybody else sees it that way um, the only thing is is i don't think this enables for replays so for replays you would be stuck with the same gray car or if everybody's running white cars or stuff like that. But I hope this helped you guys out a lot. Uh, I've spent a lot of time building servers uh, in the Assetto uh, Corsa game and then community. Uh, we've run drift comps. I've run up to 15 servers back to back with one another. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop it down below. Um, I will do my best to respond to those as timely as possible. And uh, like I said, I'm going to be uploading this entire server that we've built here. Um, you should be able to boot it right on your PC as long as you've opened up those two ports, 9600 and 8081. If you guys are looking to open up more ports, it's always good to open up 9601 and 8082. And that would be your second server. Um, Either that or if you have conflicting ports, it's usually not the case. But uh, I appreciate you guys so much. You guys have a great day. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Helps out the channel so much. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.